What a month December has been. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official wordtesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these guys right here. Bad boys? I don't know, man. If you like these, I'm happy for you. It's not my favorite colorway of the 12. However, the 12 is one of my favorite Air Jordans ever on and off court. And this is the reverse flu game. These guys right here release after Christmas. I think it's like the day after. The 26th. Something like that, right? It's like literally the day after. It almost feels like this should have been a pre-Christmas drop because I feel like so many people would be wearing this with like Santa outfits and stuff like if santa that's the thing if santa came in rocking this i'd be like yo santa's fresh this year but if i came in rocking this i'd be like why don't the reds match it looks awful but these guys are an interesting look to the air jordan 12 because i like the things that they've done to it as far as materials go i just again i don't like the colorway i, I don't know what it is about these i just they look funny to me they look like some bootlegs but anyways these guys right here are an interesting release because they're full-on suede it's a reverse colorway of a classic that most people love myself included i think that the original black and red 12s are fantastic and essentially they've got you know kind of like that taxi bottom almost with a red suede upper and everything i still you know how like we, we were just talking about this i don't remember what video it was but we were talking about like the more that i look at them oh maybe it was those fives the what the fives right because i'm i still don't really like those i don't like really like those but the more that i was looking at them while they were in like the studio they're looking a little better but like not enough for me to go and buy them and everything this one though i keep looking at it and i think the longer i look at it the less i like it the materials though are really nice so i give it that the suede looks a little dull right from the jump like it looks like an old pair of the raging bull fives like i don't know if anybody has seen a pair that's been faded but they look like this they don't look vibrant and i just think that's really weird especially with this if it was one or the other like if it was the faded red i'd be okay as long as it faded all the way down if it was the darker red would be okay if it was all the way up but it's such a weird thing who will prove that but again the materials are super nice on these so if you're going for that alone and you do happen to like this colorway then you're probably going to like these will they fade even more like will the red get duller i don't know however they do come with extra laces i don't know if that's ever happened on a pair of 12s and it's another shade of red it is oh man it is it's closer to this at least i don't think the 12s have ever come with extra laces that, to, that i can remember if they did feel free to correct me i think the aglets up here the little metal they're not metal, they used to be metal, but they're they're plastic, but these don't look right either. They look so out of place there. They should be silver or red. It just looks so weird. Another shade of red? Hopefully the same color red, but I mean, if they're gonna go for multicolor, then whatever. And then they did that weird zigzag stitching on the panels. I'm not a big fan of that either. I don't know, man, I think this one's a miss, dude. They had a really good year. It just sucks that this is how they're ending it. But again, I do like some things on the shoe, most notably the tech specs. So, as you can see right here, what is that? Herringbone traction pods. Yeah, it is, man. This stuff is awesome. I love these on court. This, if anything, could be one of those shoes. You just grab and just be like, man, I'm going to trash these outside, inside, whatever, wherever you hoop at. That's where it's going to go. And I'd be cool with that because a little break in time needed with the suede stuff. The regular 12s with the all leather uppers, they start off a little boot-like. They start off like tanks, you know what I mean? These ones are a little bit softer. It also means, though, that once they are broken in, they could feel a little bit loose, but at least you don't have to deal with any breaking period. And the next thing we have, a carbon fiber shank plate. It's also a spring plate. It's almost full length. It goes from right about here to right about here. So technically, back in the day when these originally came out, it was considered a full length spring plate or shank. The midsole itself is Phylon and then on top of that is a full length zoom unit and the zoom air in this just is the first Air Jordan to have it and they almost never look back since. Like almost every single Air Jordan since the 12s have had nothing but zoom air. There's been a few that put in air every so often. Like if I want to look at this right here, actually I'll bring you guys with me. So if I want to look at that right there, you can see that there is air soles through the 11. And then the 12 is the first one with zoom, the 13, 14, 15 also zoom, but then the 16 and the 17, they have heel air and four foot zoom. So a little bit of a mixture between, but then the 18s revert right back to zoom air because zoom air is awesome. It's the best cushion ever. Now moving on up, we have the mud guard right here done up in all black. Again, looks very similar to the taxis. But anyways, these little panels right here, they look great. They got all that texture. It's a lizard embossed print. Some people seem to think that it's a basketball texture, but it's not. It was originally stated in East Bay Magazine that it was lizard embossed. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Why? Because this was uh, one of the inspirations. A lot of inspiration goes into one model, so it's not ever one main thing unless there's a, an overarching theme. So like the, the following year was the 13s the black cat so that whole shoe is very much a cat 
like sneaker, right? But these guys right here, they had a lot of inspiration into them. One of them being the Japanese flag with the rising sun thing on the side panel. And then also over in like Europe and everything, uh, dress boots, like casual wear. And they use lizards? It was like a luxury thing. So it's like you're pointing it back to the Italian made Air Jordan 2. And those had lizard embossed print, Italian leather. That's what this was all about. And then again, you move on up to the upper, the main component, the suede, and it looks awesome. It's just a little dull to me. I really wish that it just matched the heel. I think that that would really make them look better. I think that's the only thing I don't like is just that the red is so different and it's just, I don't know why, man. It just looks really weird. Again, if you like this, man, I'm not on you. Please know that I'm these and I'm not even on these. I'm just saying I don't like them. One of my favorite features of the Air Jordan 12, the booty. I love the 23. And on top of that, I love that stripe right there, man. The quality inspired by the greatest player ever. I don't know why I like that so much, but it's the coolest thing on the shoe. Also, when I was a kid, I really loved the tongue. I love how it spelled out two and then it just gave you a three because I like seeing the 23s and everything like this is really cool, but my jersey numbers were always three. And so it was like a Ooh, you know what I mean? I just thought it was cool. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, the Air Jordan 12 does fit true to size, so that's what I would recommend. Some people do feel like they fit a little bit big, so you can go down half a size. If you're gonna hoop in them, you might be able to get away with that, especially after the break-in period, but true to size, you should be good to go. Again, these release on December 26th, and the retail price is gonna be 190 bucks. These guys right here even look different in hand. Do you notice that? Yeah, this, this is super fuzzy. Yeah, this one's super hairy. This one's like nice and refined suede. Not cool, man. What do you think about these? These, I know you don't like it when they use different shades of that's colors. like my biggest gripe with the 12 in general like your guys's fan favorite back there i can't stand those match pretty good man. this area right here there's like four different shades of red that meet up all in one location and it drives my eyes crazy they're a lot closer on those you gotta admit they're very close <sighs> They're very close. This, it's like they didn't even try. I've seen customizers do better jobs than these. Mixing and matching paints. Mm -hmm. This is lazy. But man, that upper man, that upper something. This is, these are ugly. Dude. It's super soft though. That's where like, I, I like the way that they feel. Like I, I don't not like suede on the 12s. I think that suede on the 12s feels great. It's just, I don't like this colorway. I don't know why. And I love Bulls flavored Jordans, except for today. I don't like these ones. However, she's not wearing this goofy ass hat for no reason. Okay, we do have a giveaway. <laughs> I would have loved it if we just like left it as a... Yeah, it's just a video. <laughs> It's just a December video. So somebody, somebody in uh, you know June of 2023 is going and being like, you know what, man? I really wish that I did scoop these up. I'm gonna Google them real quick and check out a review. And then this guy over here, <laughs> Santa on her head and, sh and like people are gonna be like, what the hell's going on right there? Yeah, it's December and it's Christmas and it's our last day of our 12 days of giveaways. I know we're finally here. Thank goodness. Are these his mittens? <laughs> yeah. This hat is so old. What the hell? It's like he's like smacking you in the chin. It's my son, our son's favorite hat. And I had to go like dig it out of his room. It should have stayed, <laughs> should have stayed there. Anyways, like I was saying, we have some business to attend to. It's our last day of our 12 days of Christmas. So we have these guys right here. Ooh. I know special. We're giving away these to Rudy831. I hope you enjoy them. Have a nice day. Just kidding. What's in the box? I'm just kidding. It's these guys right here. Uh, these I bought a long time ago over at Phenom. Shout out to Phenom. Um, but I bought these over at Phenom and I meant to do a review, but then I got swamped with a whole bunch of other stuff. I never ended up getting around to these, but a lot of people like these. These are the React Frenzies. This particular colorway people really like because it's kind of different. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's it's got like your tones on there, the earth tones. The bright pink is a cool touch. They remind me of like an ACG, like a Nike boot. They're very much like that one shoe that I like. Even down to the color with the, uh, it's, <laughs> it's the outdoor shoe with like the star type thing here. Oh, the Antis. Yes. Yeah, the Shock the Game Force. So it's like the same exact color scheme. I see what you're saying. I think that that's right. A lot of people confuse this though with a basketball shoe because it's basketball inspired, but it's not an actual basketball shoe. Could you hoop in them? Probably. The bottom right here is all herringbone, but it's that lifestyle herringbone where it's super thin and compact. I hate when they do that. They do that on like the, the penny hybrid shoes. So yeah, that's just a, a lame thing. All the open spaces that you see in between the, the herringbone is react. So that's all foam. The midsole encased in this rubber 
is foam. These things are why you probably can hoop in them because there's a lot of torsional rigidity there, despite being a lifestyle basketball inspired sneaker. The materials are interesting though. It's all synthetics. Again, the, the lacing, the colors, all that are, are real interesting. I hope that you like these and everything. Um, happy holidays to everybody, uh, especially if you've been watching every one of our videos. We greatly appreciate it. These again, released December 26th, 190. Uh, good luck to anybody grabbing those. It'll be interesting actually to see what these do. Will these sell out? Because I think these are awful. So like if these sell out, I'm just going to be like, man, like, <laughs> like, you don't know anything. No, that, that's what, I might as well just retire. I'm just the old guy now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I have something to say that's completely off topic only because I need help. Stop it. <laughs> I grew up in the Bay Area. I know that this H is from the Warriors. I mm -hmm. know this is the Giants. I know this is the Sharks. I know this is the A's. What the heck is this E from? Isn't that the Niners? Is it? Yeah, oh, it's just like not gold. Old, yeah, the old 80s. Oh, thank you. The Never Joe mind. Montana era, man. Thank you. Come on, I don't even know football and I know that. Yeah. I see it completely now. Thank you. This hoodie's dope, by the way. This is a Bay Area native right here. Hella fresh, okay? I don't know if that's what this is called, but it's since 83 apparel. They actually have some really cool stuff. This is not a plug. No. Um, this was an accident. Uh, but uh, yeah, but they do really great sh so if you're interested, I'll leave their links down below. I think we do have a code. We do. With them. So. NW2303. Yeah. So, you know, if you see anything, they have like that Ninja Turtle one that I wore. Like that, that's part of their collection. I love this one though, because it's like hella dope. You know what I mean? Like this is what I say time so that pretty much takes care of it for these guys uh let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section are you along my thought process where it's just like of all the colorways to do why and if you were going to put out this colorway why couldn't you make those reds match i don't know you're a multi-billion dollar brand you're preaching to the choir i've said all of these things so yeah i love jordan brand but sometimes man i'm just like what the f anyways thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support we'll see you next year or i'm just kidding we have plenty of videos still. We'll see you next time. So until then, have a good one.